Greetings and welcome to City Skylines Deepford, episode 62. As you can see, the uh, the new roundabout junction interchange, whatever you want to call it, is now operational. It is, uh, I've done some tweaking of the positions of the roads to make them a bit more curvy, uh, a little less uh, sharp bends as well. Uh, I kind of like the look of it. Let's take a proper look from a distance, shall we? Whoop. There we go. So yeah, I kind of like it. It's uh, so the way it's because how busy the roads are now. Yeah, so the uh, the coming to start from over here to so show you how it works. Right, so you can come from either there down this road or here from this road. And when you get there, so first thing happens, you arrive and here you'll pull off there and go up into that road there, or you come out this one and turn to there. Then you enter this little junction, so you can shoot off down there straight into the harbour, or you can go into the roundabout. Which will let you have access to mostly access to this exit, because otherwise you might as well just go straight through the centre and out the far side. And that's basically how all the areas work. So from over here, you've got a slip road to take you straight over to these guys to go to the two towns that way. Or you can go into the roundabout, which gives you access to there. Or you can go straight through and into the harbour. That's nice and simple, straight through. Then we've got this side, and over here we've got the same rules. You can come up here and into that road, into the new town, up into the roundabout, which gives you access to here, and then you got straight through. And obviously, from the actual harbour itself, you can come out to the slip road, or you can go out into the up there, which is the roundabout, or straight into the new town. Basically, you've got a pretty decent access point from any area with minimal actual uh, stopping and junction and stuff. So, been missing some areas, yeah. I mean, I don't like the habit. The harbour itself always has a bottleneck, it, but you can't stop that. That's just the downside to harbours. Um, I still get this throughput though. I don't get this. People going through there without stopping because uh, there's no reason to go through that road. I mean, literally, no matter which side you come from, it's fast to get onto the roundabout now. Because the roundabout's a highway, so it's still fast all the way around it. But some people still want to go through without stopping. That's their choice. Can't do much about them. I'm about putting a slip road in place. I'm not going to put a slip road in place for the handful of vehicles that are going to do that and anything. The only part that I don't like is this road here. Because it's such a steep... Look at that. It's so steep. I can't do anything about it because it's that natural hillside coming from up here to down there. But it just it does annoy me a little bit that it's like that. Uh, also, in case you're wondering, yes, I did use the lane tool to uh boop there we go to set up a few lame uh, rules as you can see there are pretty much on every major sort of junction point where there's multiple lanes going to one i've got rules set up same place so that like here vehicles coming off that lane there don't merge with this lane here so the the big case will clashes but ideally not too many uh, oh, thank you so there we go and there are no traffic lights in this entire section so this is actually a really hopefully it's a really efficient roundabout and as you can see here in the middle, I've got the uh, this lane coming off this inside, this lane coming off the inside, off the inside, and then we're adding one to this side because we have nothing to come off of. So there we go. And I think that's all. We've got, yeah, one, two, three, and then the fourth, it goes on there. Yeah, we're just missing one outbound, I believe. Uh, no, because we don't, we we're not missing any outbounds. It's just that nothing comes from, there's nothing that way. Yeah, that's fine. We're doing good, and this means these bit roads now are actually getting busy on the highways rather than using the city. There are a lot of vehicles here right now, but that's just a temporary side effect of not having enough junctions on this uh, on this road here, and, and maybe another one up here at some point would, would be nice. But uh, it's not even slowing everything down, that's the best part. I mean, these cars here are going slow because of the crossroad, which is why we need more junctions. And these cars here are going slow because it's a 90 degree bend. Nothing you can do about that, unfortunately. That's just the way... Oh, look at that lot. Yeah, we definitely need to get another couple of junctions in place onto this uh, highway at some point. You know, we should really build them today. But let's get some of the uh, cities zoned up, and then we'll, uh, we'll, and we'll get those guys in. Uh, I don't really want to put in too much more, so I'll put the offices there. Uh, that'll get them in place <coughs> uh, to there. And we can put a junction here off this turning. And we can try and sneak one in. Where's the halfway mark? Well, right there, where it sort of bulges out. Perfectly bulges out. Nice. Okay, well, while it's doing that, let's get the shops in place here so that they have uh, <clears throat> somewhere for the shops to go because they are demanding shops right now. And just one layer will do just nicely. Thank you, Auto Save. 
Here we go. And we'll have to probably do these ones yet on a uh, on a bucket system because it's on a curve. So bucket, thank you, bucket. And bloop 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 bloop. Bloop 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 And any one of these ones here will just do like that because it's convenient. Uh here should we zone those in yet? We have a big demand for it, but don't zone them in just yet, because they will build in the stupidest places. And we'll give them that piece there for now. Get them started. Okay. So the chapter did point out that Hickory Heights maybe is a little bit lacking in uh, leisure. Um doing okay now. It was a bit low before. A small playground would be nice somewhere over here though, wouldn't it? There you go. Um, let's put them in places where we know we're going to need them, so... Uh, can I have it there? Oh, that's already occupied, but you know, we can fit it in there very easily. Just boom. There we go, make people nice and happy. Why would the offices need parts is the question. And let's not do anything there yet, that's where the bulge is out. And over here, give you a pack as well, make you nice and happy. Boom. There you go. That should make everyone happy. Why are you getting garbage problems out this way? We have like a garbage de dedicated delivery service right here. Uh, 27, wait, oh, you are missing maxed out. Oh. Well, that would definitely cause it to uh, need more, wouldn't it, if you maxed out the vehicles. Give you four more of these. That's more than double what you had before. Pipes are already in place. There we go. Those vehicles should now be en route to help out with the garbage problem in that part of the city. Da -da 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 -da. Now we do need to get more junctions in place and shops are being built slowly for obvious reasons really. But let's start looking at this junction over here. So for this junction over here we really should feed these guys in here and here. So let's give me a highway one way, two lane one way, upgrade that road there. Uh, let's then do that way actually. There we go. I'm not sure whether we should do it to there or not. Feeling not actually. Give that road a, a, an out. There we go. Right. So now we need slip roads to come out of that joint there and then feed up to these things here. So we'll start with this one because it's the easiest one to get you in with. We take you from there to there and you complain about it. Of course you'll complain about it. Why wouldn't you complain about it? Everybody would complain about about it, wouldn't they? Put you to there. Boom. And then into there. Boom. Done. This side wants to do something very, very similar. Take it out from here. Go down, down. You, know, you can do it. We've done it before. Boom. And under to there. You can just join to that. Wow, that's a. That was a. That was ambitious for a. Uh, for a drop. Let's put it that way. Uh, let's bring you up here then. Yep, uh, down, 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 down. So the ground level would be great, but not far from the ground level would be better. Well, you really don't want to be uh, coming out there, do you? Bring you to there. Boom. Whoa, 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 whoa. Into there. Uh, pop, get rid of you for a second. Bring you into there. And then we'll switch you to a highway. Uh, straight in there. How about we build the highway out just a tad to there. Flip it around so it's facing the right direction. And uh, then slip road you in to there. We'll have to use the move tool, I think. No, let's uh, rebuild that a bit more logical. Send me you as well, actually. Right, so you can then come from there, straight into there. Boom, you're in. And you can come from here. Now, if we can get you to go in the gap between, if we can get you, yeah, if we can get you to drop into the gap between, we can do it like this. Just got to figure out where your pillars are. Uh, there it is. Okay, if we can get you to between the pillar, or we can just get you to not 
kind of between the pillars. That would, why, why is that too steep? Come on, that's the same level as that. Uh, move that pillar to there. Should hopefully give me the angle I need here to fit that in. It's saying for the clash or something back there. I really, really doubt that it's a possibility. Take that there. Bring it out there. Bring it down. And uh, bring it to here. Ooh, I like that already. Now, you're being awkward about it for literally no reason at all. Move tool. Boom. <laughs> I love the move tool when you use it. As long as you use it correctly, it's good. Uh, let's put a curve on that. There we go. So we have those two working fine. Now we need to do you. So we'll bring you out a bit more here so we've got a double to work with. Boom. Right, so slip road here can just... I kind of like going on the inside piece, but uh, it looks like it's not even be... Have we got a pillar right there? No, it's because I elevated you by accident. Uh, go straight through to the... You. Go straight out there. And then music to you. Right, so the first one's going to come up and into there. Well, the easiest way to do that is actually bring it from here. Uh... I find that's the easy way to sort of uh, get these these things into the place where you want them to be. Uh, let's actually get a bit further down. About there? Yeah, about right there. Out of the side would be better. Down, 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 down. And then swing you across there. Boom. And flip that around. There you go. That gets you onto the highway. And then we just need one to go that way, which should, in theory, be really easy. But you know how these things work. Uh, if I don't do that, you see it's going to be awkward about it. Um, where's your pillar? Right there. Oh, that pillar there is actually an awkward place. Problem solved. Bring you from there to there. Send you down, down, down. Maybe down, down one. Down, down three. Down, down ten. Boom. And then, can we get you swing in there without being awkward about stuff? No, because... You like being awkward about stuff, don't you? There you go. Now, I still need to move stuff around, so give me a moment and also flip that around in a second. Uh, flip it around now, actually, because it'll just get awkward if I don't flip it first. There we go. And then move move tool just to get that. So it's not quite as stupid. And then here, we'll use the magic of the move tool just to bring you to there. Like that, bring you back this way a bit more. Send you maybe over that way. Curve it around a bit less. Send you like that. Okay. I think we may have it. Yeah. There we go. We have that. We now have slip roads going up there to supply that road. They come down, they can filter out, and then get down to this road here. For now, they're just a single. If they get bogged up, we will uh, make these into, a, like, two lanes. But uh, we'll figure that out as time is needed on it. But there we go. A lot of our vehicles coming into the town now, which is excellent to see. People are filtering into the town quite easily in places where they need to be. Coming down. These need to be sorted out a little bit. Um... I don't know if it seems to be a speed thing, but these are, these turns are so tight. I mean, we could make these, because of, because of these roads being what they are, we could make these one ways, and that would actually solve, because it's such a busy one, it would solve one of the problems. If we make it one way of this road type, there we go, uh, at the very least, it'll keep the look and the buildings will be able to still be on them. It will give them two lanes, so they'll be able to get into these lanes much more effectively, hopefully. Uh, you got both turns? You have, good. That should hopefully help out with the turning circles and make things move a bit faster on that there. We won't do it on that one, it'll, it should be good everywhere else. Good, and that road's busy, and that road's busy, and the roundabout's fairly busy but not too bad. This is always going to be a problem, that's just the downside to having a harbour. The hab harbours are horrible um, for efficiency wise. They are, they are horrendous for efficiency. I really do dislike them. I wish the, I just wish the junction, I mean, since you can't change it, I wish the junction was actually more optimised for them. It doesn't help that you have these vehicles that are going straight through. You know, we should put the slip road back in place for those idiots that want to do this. 
Can we get that slip road in place? I'm not even sure I can fix that slip road onto there. Uh, I need that tool anyway. So the ones that go straight through this, figure out where you're going. Full speed. Where are you? Where are you heading? To the bottom one. Yeah, so we can put a slip road here. Like before. And put it into there. Not as easy as before, unfortunately. So maybe if we take it to here, dip it down. Uh, to there. And then bring it up. And maybe that'll uh, give the bypass people a way of doing this without being complete idiots. Um, hopefully that'll work for what's needed. I just don't know why they're doing it. It's really annoying. I wish there was a way of saying no through roads here, but uh, unfortunately it's not a thing you can do. Anyway, that's up and running. New city's looking pretty good. Um, oh, we can do shops around the bend now. Hi, shops on the bend. How you doing? Uh, let's see. We need shops on the outskirts as well. The good thing about doing shops on the outskirts is it does give us the... Uh, oh, pool. It does actually give us the uh, power distribution down the centre as well, which is good. Right, that'll do us just nicely. Now, let's see. What's our coverage on healthcare? We have a big hospital there, and we did say we probably want a new big hospital. And that one's one of the ones with the word hospital on side. Let's keep the same style. Over here, uh, where should we put it? Don't really want it too close, but we can't have it on the thing because of those reasons. Um, well, we have this road here. We can actually take that out and put the... Yeah, we could do that. Take that road out. There. Put the hospital right there. That's actually really good because it's a dead-end road and no one would know it's missing. Ha-ha! <laughs> and it does give us a massive uh, coverage on, uh, on medical stuff. There's still like a lacking over here, but we can solve that by putting a hospital maybe out here somewhere. Okay, that's the hospital. How about crematorium coverage? Uh, for the most part, you're doing good, but you need at least a few more down here, so I'll put one there. Stick one over here. Uh, one over here. I uh, don't think you need any more yet, because we haven't got many uh, houses in need of those. But... We'll come to those later. Right, fire station coverage. Uh, we have a lack of fire station coverage in places that are actually quite important. Like housing areas. So, let's put one over here. Um, put it there. Boom. Fire station coverage. We'll leave one over here as well, because the coverage is pretty decent, but could be better. Uh, you have no fire station coverage, which is kind of annoying. There you go. And so do you. You are technically covered, you just poorer coverage than I'd like you to have. Uh, police station coverage. There's one police station there, one police station there. That is all we need for now. Education wise, we are still having problems with education. Okay. Uh, schools. Let's do these. We have a big need for schools pretty much all the way down, so let's give some more of these elementary schools down here. We have a lot of school demand. That's you know how much do they how much do they actually provide? Um, student, 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 three hundred, three hundred, and then you get through high schools, which are a thousand. So they literally need a load of those. Wow, we need a lot of those. And then the high schools, uh, they produce a thousand. We got. Oh, we have really underdone this schooling in this uh, city, haven't we? Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. And then we're out of cash. There we go. Well, education always helps. Higher um, educated populations pay more in taxes, which is good for money incomes, other than the other type of incomes that are not money-related incomes. And there we go. So this place is now actually working quite well. I like this part of the city. It's good. Uh, this road here, this junction is doing really well. I'm really happy with this. Look at that. Big truck of people coming in, big truck of people coming in. They just hit the roundabout area. And then they just spread where they need to go. It's actually working really well. And it's busier than it used to be as well, I think. Pretty sure it's busier than it used to be because uh, they can get from there to here really easily now. Yeah, I mean, look how they're flowing as well. I'm not getting any micro stuttering on this junction. Excellent. Okay, let me know what you think of the uh, the newer sort of tweaked layout of that. Because I've just all I've done. I haven't done any new roads. All I've done is I've changed the angles of things. And also, of our new junction here, right in the middle of town, which is getting very, very busy. Ooh. Very, very busy. Is that a uh, traffic light down here? That is a traffic light down here. Ooh, that could be a problem for us. 
Uh, okay, well in that case, if it's a traffic light, we need to make sure it stays um, as maximum output as you can. So, oops, wrong way around. There you go. So that'll get them moving into here as fast as possible. Oh, uh, why are you complaining about? You can't go there because suddenly changed word height. There we go. That should hopefully uh, help with these people because you can't build on those. Eh, remember. That's all we need to do anyway. So, yes, it's still a traffic light, but hopefully uh, the traffic lights will uh, disperse quickly. I might actually switch this one out to be uh, the other direction as well, just to encourage them not to block these guys off on the exits. That's not a bad idea, actually. So when these guys exit, there'll, not, there'll, be, nobody, there'll be nobody there blocking them off. That could definitely help out. There we go. And now they can empty as fast as possible. Nothing should get in their way, and they should go, 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 and hopefully clear some of this backlog up here. That is something I have to keep an eye on. I wasn't expecting that backlog to be so big. Um, if I can get a four lane in there, would that help at all? Yeah, actually, it could help at all. Uh, can we fit a four lane uh, highway? We don't have a four lane highway, do we? No, because these are wider. Yeah, they're a little wider. We, we do have a four lane road, though. Um, four lane one way. You are a three lane, that means you the four lane. And then I can just upgrade you from there down. Uh, to there, yep. Makes it four lane all the way. Gives more turn off points and more, more to the point. We can go get rid of those though. Do not want traffic lights anywhere up this chain. There we go. Uh, so this gives us a lot more turning points, which means in theory they should have all the straight forwards and all the turns are dedicated lanes. That should make life so much easier for people coming through these lanes. More lanes means more traffic can move when the light changes colour. So that should really hopefully help out. Uh, wait for a second, let's see how it works. There they go. And dun, dun, dun. wish the pedestrians wouldn't move when the cars are moving, it's just suicidal. And there they go. So a lot more cars should get through here without uh, a problem. If someone does micro pause, I will Actually, I think I did see a micro pause there, so I'm going to take the, adva the uh, advice from Chad Tucker, which is turn off the one that does the pausing. Is that one there? Can't tell. Is that on or off? Turn them all on and see what happens. Well, that looks good to me. Uh, da -da. Let's turn YouTube off because it just makes more sense for YouTube not to be a pain. That one needs to empty as fast as possible, so give it one turn and we'll see how it goes. But until next time, come wrangle. There we go. We're not quite that low. There we go. So until next time, comments in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.